everybody. Welcome back. It's been a little while since I've um, been on here, guys, and I just thought I would jump on and share with you a few things that I've been keeping myself busy with. Um, long, dark, dreary days here in the UK at the moment, so just trying to take advantage of it and get some of those projects done that I've been putting off. Um, I've got a massive drawer of scraps and I have just put it off and put it off and put it off. So I thought um, I'd get some of the snippet rolls done. I've been working on tea dyeing, avocado dyeing, um, you know, just last minute um, little projects that I, I just had a few little things I needed to complete. And I do have two journals that I've managed to finish up. So let me just share with you First of all, the snippet rolls. Um, this is just a little piece I made there, and then a couple of small thin strips that I'll probably use these little ones as um, tabs within journals. Is kind of my thinking. So I've got a few, and this is this one I've had for a while, so I hadn't made that. I'm just keeping them all together. But this is what I was working on with my patrons this week. And you can see these are nice and wide. Um, and the reason I've opted to do this is I've managed to get these um, really wide strips of lace that I probably wouldn't use otherwise. And they were such a good deal. And I thought, well, this just makes a great base. So you can see I've got loads of little snippets of lace and fabrics. And like I said, these ended up, um, I think they're between, well, that's five and a quarter, and I think I've got some that are even six inches. And I like to do them that way because it offers me the ability to make them into pockets or tabs, um, journal cards, or journal covers, for that fact. And this one I really I did two of these, and these were with the Liberty fabrics, um, because as I was telling my, my patrons, um, I tend to get my fabrics through car boots and thrift stores, so I don't generally end up with a lot of things that coordinate, and these Liberty fabrics are nice because I can buy them in a bundle, and they're all in the same color scheme, so... I've actually only got two um, with those because that was all of the fabric I had left. But I have to say going forward, I think that's probably the way I'm going to go with the, with my fabrics until I get back, you know, to where I have access to a, a really nice fabric store like Joann's. <laughs> I'm missing Joann's. I loved going to that store and browse, and that was my little routine every week. Every Monday morning, I would get up go to um, Hobby Lobby because their sales obviously would change on um, starting on Monday. And then I would go to Joann's and beside Joann's was Tuesday morning, which um, last time I was, was there, um, that particular one was still open, but I don't know now if, if, they're, if they'll survive all of the lockdown. So hoping. And then I'd go on to uh, Michael's. So it was just like Every Monday, I, I so look forward to I get up, have my coffee, and then head out. But until I get back, I'm going to stick, I think, with the Liberty fabrics because I do like them being coordinated. I just think they've come out really beautiful. So you can just see just all sorts of pieces. And um, so these are going to make some beautiful pockets. And uh, I even think... Um, maybe even some journal covers on those colors because I love them so much. And then this one, this was a um, little girl's curtain, you can see, that I purchased. But I just love the colors, you know, I like pastels. But doesn't that make a beautiful base for it? And so this is what I tend to do is, is start off, I, I first started with the snippets with just the, the plain muslin. And I still like that, but I just happen to be out of it, and I'm waiting on a shipment. Um, but what I have tended to do now is 
is take a colored piece because I actually think it builds the snippet roll much better if you've got some color as the base and then build upon it. And you can see this one obviously is your pinks and um, I still got, a, I see a few places I'm going to have to go back and restitch. I was just getting so tired last night. I worked on these all day yesterday and I do mean all day. They do take a long time to do. Um, but I love it. It's one of those things um, when I need <clears throat> that time to just sit and clear my mind, uh, I find the snippet rolls really relaxing. And then this one is just um, a mix of colors, which I really am drawn to this as well. I think it's, um, this is just no rhyme or reason to it. I just grabbed stuff in the drawer and I just, I like them. I like how they come out that way. So yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, so that took up like I said, all day yesterday I worked on those, and I feel really, really good to have finally been productive. I don't know about you guys, but it's been a real struggle to um, to stay motivated lately. But anyways, uh, that was a really enjoyable day. Um, another thing I'll share with you is something that we recently made, my patrons and I. Um, this was an accordion journal series. Um, so I love this, how this one came out. I've got lots of little flips in it. Um, this is not going to be for sale, guys, um, because, look, at I made a, a that flips out even more. Isn't that pretty? And uh, I'm just going to share with you what, what we have made, and then I did a tutorial on how to do these. So those are, this is the sort of thing that I'm doing on um, on my Patreon channel, so if you are interested in that, there's a link below where you can check out um, if that's something that you're interested in. As you can see, it just ends up you've got three separate journals, and these are really fun to make. So I'm doing, I've done the whole series on how to create this uh, with my patrons, and I thought I'd show you guys that. Uh, a lot of fun. I'm going to be working on some more of these. I've got um, a new kit I'm going to be working with this week, so I'm so excited. I always like it when I when I get a new kit. It just really kind of lifts my spirits um, because it's something new to do, um, to work with, so I'm excited about that. Okay, so let's get on to what I have got completed. And these two journals that I'm going to show are for sale in my um, shop, which is in the description box below. Um, unfortunately, right now, guys, we have a, a restriction on shipping, and until that is lifted, these I can only ship to the United States of America and the UK, obviously. Um, and the reason for that is because, as far as I'm aware, and I've checked just this morning, um, the Royal Mail, I'm still, they're still not letting us do international, so I've had to go to a different shipping company, and the cost is absolutely insane, other than the United States. So I can still ship there without it impacting on the uh, shipping charges. So until that changes, guys, um, you will know once that changes, because within, well, I will tell you. Um, but I'm so sorry about that, guys, but it just, it would not be worth, I mean, it, it is more to ship than what the journal would be. It's crazy. So again, this is an um, altered envelope journal, and this is just some sorry silk. And on the back here, I've just made a little pocket here and added a, a tag and then a couple of little, a little journal card and this altered um, mini roller decks. So this one is <clears throat> very much in nature. Love this kit. Um, a lot of fun to work with this. Kind of a nature vintage style. So here we've got a large journal card. And then inside here I just made this so that you got extra writing space. That can be kept kind of private. And 
And then here I've just added a old vintage. These are little post uh, souvenir photos. That's from uh, France. So I've done stenciling um, and stamping throughout. Now here, this is another thing I did with my patrons. It's a little little corner tuck, and I've got a pocket. Oops, that got bent. Um, this has got a little pocket here. It just slides over your page, a page hugger, and then I just on the back made another tiny little notebook. So I love how that came out. And then just a little tuck here with a another writing space, or you could glue that into an envelope. I've just left it open. Little belly band with a this is a digital library card because I don't have access to purchasing the purchasing any of the original ones. And then another tag here that I've um, this is like a Franken tag, and then I've went up, went over and stenciled with some modeling paste on that. Some little tags here to write. A little strip there, and then this is another pocket here with a, a journal card. And then this flips over, and then I've just added another little journal card there with a tag. I mean, a tab, sorry. Just collaging, um, did some papers, you know, the Franken pages. So I'm trying to use those up. And then here I've got just a little window. Um, this is that, like a washi, um, but you cannot get this anymore. I know somebody's going to ask me about it, but I'm sorry guys, I've looked and it's it's not possible to order it now that I've, I can't find it because I've had many people asking. I've added some extra tabs the um, Stampin' Up tabs so that you could add those throughout and that's a little glassing envelope and then just a little coin envelope that I've stamped on there. <coughs> just a coffee dyed uh, index card and then this is a little handmade uh, journal card I did a tutorial on that some time ago. And then this has been decoupage, this tag has. Another large um, tag that I've just added. Now these are all vintage. This is a uh, vintage milk cap and then these are the vintage uh, tea cards. So there's two of those in there that could be used throughout. And then you've got another pocket up here that you can add a tag to. So that's just all tucked into this little pocket. And that flips over. And this is a um, canvas uh, pocket here that I've stamped on. And then this is another tag that I made. So quite a bit of writing space. Um, love these little tiny coin envelopes, so you can add some little things in there. And then here I've got a little altered paper clip, and then this is actually um, a page, and these are genuine um, tea cards, as you can see. So those, you know, could be cut up and used throughout. I didn't want <clears throat> to cut it up myself, I just wanted to leave it like it was. So that whoever, <coughs> excuse me, receives this can uh, decide how they want to use it. It could be just, you know, maybe it, maybe you'd want to just use it in a um, another journal as a page. It could easily be stitched in. That would be a very, really, really pretty page to add to your another journal. And then here is just another little belly band and just some extra. Uh, the tea dye paper that I've stamped on. 
And then on the back here, I've just made another journal card in the window envelope pocket there. So there you have it. That is the first journal. Let me see how I'm doing on time. Okay, and then the next one, it's been a very long time, guys, since I've done an altered book journal. So I'll try to get through this quickly. This is a large one, as you can see. It's about um, seven and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And it's about a one and a quarter inch spine, but you can see it's a bit gator mouth. Now that is because I've got another mini journal inside that can be easily taken out. So let's just start with the front, which is here, and this is what I was talking about. This is a little mini journal that I've got tucked in so that can take it out, which is, you know, that's got a little bit of bulk to it. Um, that's just tucked into here. And that flips over. We've got another little journal card here that comes off. And that's just from an old uh, vintage book page. And then here I've just added um, a couple of tags in this pocket. So I don't think I'm going to have time to pull everything out. I just want to give you a flip through. Let me just zoom out. I can see this is going to be a problem. All right, so here I've just made this to kind of keep that closed. As that flips over, you've got a journal card here, a tag there. I'm not going to pull them out, guys. Um, and then over here, I've got my um, my little business card. And then you've got a journal card and then a couple of tags. And this is an altered um, playing card that I've just backed it with some tea dyed paper. So that's in there. Then you've got this large journal card. That flips up. And then you've got, sorry, you've got writing space here. And then I've added this large envelope so that you can add some nice things in there. It's been quite a while since I've done one like this and I really have enjoyed it. Because um, you know I kind of get bored if I do the same style journals. So it was fun to alter this. And I'm working on another, but after I had completed this, it took me a while to do it. I just thought, oh, I'm going to set it to the side and give myself a bit of a break. Um, and carry on with some other things because I'm really enjoying the accordion style um, journals. So I, I'm going to work on two of those. This is a little glassine um, envelope that I've added some stamped muslin to and a little journal card there. Oh, this is the Stamperia um, paper, scrapbooking paper. Um, mm, I'm sorry, it's slipping my mind which one it is, but you'll see it throughout the journal. And along with that, I kept all of the um, the vintage book pages. So this has a lot of writing space. Um, when I laid this one out, beautiful. This is from Hannah. Hannah, love these papers. Thank you so much for saving me some of those to purchase. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. This one, I have not added a lot of um, things in the signature because I had added so many pockets at the front and then I'll show you at the back. So I've kept it very minimal because in my mind um, this is for somebody else to, f to fill out as they see fit. Here, this is a handmade paper envelope that I've just added so that a person could tuck some more things in there. 
So all of these vintage papers, just beautiful. Here I kept the whole page intact so that, that flips out. So you could add more pockets on here easily. But I didn't want to over embellish it because it was already getting so uh, large. This is a Royal Horticulture postcard. I love these. And I've just clipped that in there. And that could be used throughout the journal. So a real mix of um, book pages. And then here, this is a fabric pocket. And then this is just another. Um, it's got a couple of pockets here. One there, there. And I've just added. And, and these are vin uh, vintage tea cards. So... I added a couple, of them. so those can be used throughout the journal as well. So, another little flip here. This is two pockets on the front, and I've just added the tags that come in the scrapbooking kit. And then this, I've made another large journal card that tucks into here. And I just um, kept this plain. Um, in case you want to add a photo to it or do some writing over it. I love this journal. You know how some journals just really, I don't know, you're just really drawn to them and I love how this one came out so I may have to make one of these for myself as well. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the journal cards that comes in the, the kit. I think it may have been a garden themed or botanical. Now this is a large, uh, I've got these giant paper clips, so I just altered that into a giant paper clip. And that holds that. I just think it's so pretty. I love these papers. So I used the whole kit in this. Um, I have very little left over. Uh, I thought I would be able to get two journals out of it, but in the end I just thought, oh no, it, they're just such beautiful papers. I wanted to make make sure I included everything. Now here I've just clipped that, and here I've just made a little um, flip out that you can write on, and then that comes over. And I've just clipped that in place. And then on the back I made this little, this is a dried flower um, journal card and I've just clipped that in there. I just think it's really pretty. Here um, I've got my handmade by the Firefly Studio tag and then inside I've added um, another one of these cards with the butterflies and those are true um, cigarette cards or and then this is one of the cards, journal cards. And then these are postcards that I acquired along the way. And I think those are really pretty. If you're a nature lover, um, I think you'll enjoy that. With this particular kit, or journal, I've included this, which has got all the little extras left over. I've got some journal tabs that I've cut out, cut out with the remainder of the... Um, scrapbooking paper and then I, I wanted to add this little bookmark ruler. Um, I just thought it was really sweet. Look at that on the back. So this has all been included so you've got some extra little things to play with. I added charms. I've got a little flower charm, a butterfly, I think there's a dragonfly in there, and some bulb pins. So there's another little bag there. So um, Because I, I was going to put <clears throat> excuse me, the tabs in the journal myself with the charms. And in the end, I thought, no, it would be nicer if the recipient can decide where they want to add the tabs and the charms. So there, that's going to come with this journal. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I really, really love this journal. <laughs> it's, um, like I said, I think I'm going to have to make myself one. I don't know why. I'm just terrible about doing things for myself. Um... It's ridiculous. It really, really is. But so many journals I look back on and think, oh, why didn't I, why didn't I do that for me? <laughs> but I, I just, 
I just never seem to find time to do something for myself. So, but I, oh, I would like to have one like this. I'm really pleased with that. All right, guys, I've chattered away enough. I know you're sick of hearing my scratchy voice. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that today. I hope you guys are all staying safe and well. And I'll be back very soon, hopefully, to share some some new projects and things with you that I'm getting up to. Um, just like everybody, just kind of trying to get through these dark months and um, and look forward to, to spring and, and getting back out in the yard and, and planting some bright, beautiful flowers. And We've got a lot to look forward to, so <clears throat> hang in there, guys, and I'll be back soon. Bye.